Welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways you can freeze or extend a frame in Camtasia. For example, if you have more voiceover you want to add and you have no room to add it in your timeline. But before I do that, if you're interested in learning about the different ways you can use Camtasia to earn an income, stop by my live stream this Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. I live stream every Thursday morning for about an hour and I do live Camtasia tutorials and answer any questions you might have. This week, we're going to talk about all the ways you can earn an income with Camtasia as your video editing software. The live chat will be open for about an hour before the stream begins, so you'll be able to post your questions ahead of time. Again, it'll be this Thursday, March 24th at 9 a.m. Eastern. I hope to see you then. Okay, now back to the tutorial. Here we are in Camtasia, and as you can see, I already have a project loaded, and this project has an audio narration track here, this track two, and a screen recording track on track three. So what I want to do is I want to extend this screenshot here to the end of the narration so, so that there's no break in the video. And now I'm going to show you three ways. Actually, I'm going to show you four ways to do this. The first way to freeze this frame or to extend the frame right over to here is to use the export frame as option. And the way you do that with this highlighted, let's go up to export and click export frame as, or you could hit control F as the shortcut, save your image. And then what you're going to do is you're going to import that image that you just saved, import media, locate the file you just saved, click open, and it shows up here. Now we can just drag this down to the timeline. And since this is just an image of the screenshot from this screen recording, we can treat it like any other image and we can stretch it in the timeline and I can stretch it to the full length of the video that we want so that it'll complete the video. So that child and that's the first way we can extend a frame in Camtasia. The second way we can extend the frame is by right clicking the frame we want to extend and click extend frame. And then we can enter the time and duration that we want to extend the frame by. Now before I do this, let's just back up here. First let's identify how long of an extension we want. And if we stretch this out over the duration that we want to extend the frame by, we can click here and we can see that the duration is four and a half seconds. So now let's put the playhead back over the frame we want to extend, right click, click extend frame, and let's enter four and a half seconds and click OK. And that's the second way you can extend the frame. The third way, which is actually the easiest way, is you put the playhead on the frame that you want to extend or copy and simply go up here to this icon right here. And this icon is the add exported frame icon. Click that. And that basically adds a new frame as an image on your timeline. And just as we did in step one, we can adjust it like an image to fill the entire area that we want to fill with this video. And now I'm actually going to show you a fourth way that we can extend this frame. We first need to identify the part of this image that can be extended. So if we scrub through here, it doesn't look like anything is happening. There's a little fade at the beginning. But other than that, there is no movement in that frame at all. So let's just put the playhead over here and click S for split. And now with this section selected, we're going to right click and we're going to click add clip speed. And that puts this clip speed effect right here. And you can also see it up here in your uh, properties window under effects. And here we can alter the speed at which that clip plays. And since the entire clip is basically of the same screenshot, we can extend the duration by lowering the speed to cover a greater period of time. We can do that either by altering this number here, but a much easier way is to come down here in the timeline and click and drag these handles here. Not here, because this will just extend the initial screen recording. And we don't want to do that. We want to stretch this selection over this time period. We click here, we'll see the two double arrows on either side, and we're going to click and drag this. And as we do this, you can notice that the clip speed number is going down. One final tip I'm going to make is when you have a clip that's this long with nothing happening on the screen, you want to add a little bit of animation to keep viewers' attentions. The way I do this is I'm going to come up here to animations, click on custom animation and drag that down onto this clip. And now what I'm going to do is at the start, I'll take note that my scale is at 100% here. Click on the end of the animation and let's make that 110%. 
Now let's stretch this animation across the entire length of the clip and let's see what that gives us. Video shows how to create parent -child company relationships. It just adds a little bit of animation to the video to keep the viewers engaged. That's it for now. Remember to stop by this Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern for my weekly live stream, where this week I'll talk about all the different ways you can earn an income with Camtasia Studio. Also, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to this channel, click the bell icon to turn on notifications, and like this video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.